Oi, fucking oi, people. I'm back again for another one of my epic monkey mini mirrors. Now, that's where I look at a fucking video that I really like, mirror it, and add a few comments, you know, just to fucking spice it up a little bit. But today, we are going to be watching, for the iNetwork, one of our very own. He's one of the shills, and he's one of my close friends. And he's just started a new series, hopefully he'll fucking keep it up, because he's such a busy geezer, called Simple Thoughts. So, Dick Dawson... Fucking take it away, son. Boring out, Dawson. What the fuck are you trying to do to us? Crack on, will ya? This is shit. That's the one. Now we're fucking talking, sunshine. That's the Dick Dawson I'm fucking looking for. Bit of fucking heavy rock and let's have it, sunshine. So today on Simple Thoughts, why on a flat earth would a boat have a crow's nest? Let's take a look. We're gonna need a flat body of water. We are gonna need a crudely drawn boat by somebody with no artistic ability whatsoever. We're gonna need a little island that's just off in the distance that can't be seen. Perspective, whatever you wanna call it, this is flat earth, none of my business. We've got a little dude on the bottom of the ship and we have a little dude up in the crow's nest. So this is where we end up. Now, let's draw a line of sight in from the bottom guy to almost the island cause he can't see it. And there's our little terminator to show what's going on. So, we have our boat, we have our crew member on the main deck of the boat, we have our line of sight, and we have a Terminator block just before the island, and this, well, in a crude way, shows the way Flat Earth sees that you can't see something that's too far off in the distance due to perspective or whatever you want to insert there. Reasons. Oh yeah, Dick reasons and we all know that their fucking reasons are just absolute bullshit bollocks horseshit a mishmash of utterly confusing word salad or just an absolutely stupidly absurd explanation for something that is quite simply hidden by the fucking curvature of the planet i mean how many times have we covered these absolute idiots and their stupid ideas and explanations for something that is just simply hidden by the fucking curvature of the earth because we stand on a globe you globe denying morons now let's put the exact same length line of sight up to the person in the crow's nest well Wait a minute, it doesn't even get to the other Terminator spot. Hmm, that's pretty odd, isn't it? Now, let's take this line, and I'll rotate it flat. I'm no artist here, so give me a break. And we'll bring it down, and I will show you that it is the same length. See? It's the same length. And we'll rotate it back into its position here. I don't know, something like that, maybe? And we'll bring it up to the little man's head so it's in the right spot. Uh, I think I curved it a little too much there. Let's try that one. So we'll bring it back to his eye. Yeah, that'll do it. And what do we get? Oh, here. Sorry, I put it a little bit too far back. We don't want anybody getting all pissy. So there we go. The exact same length of ability to see, meaning that if you can't, you know, you can't see further than that because of reasons, distance, whatever, but on a flat earth, there is no point in having a crow's nest on a boat because it actually takes you slightly further away from what you're trying to see. I mean, doesn't this make sense to any of you backward-thinking, globe-denying idiots? I mean, I worked this out when I was a kid. When I used to be down at the beach of Bournemouth looking at boats going over the curve, I knew that I only had to go up to Hengistbury Head, which was, you know, a few hundred feet higher, and I could see the fucking boat again i mean christ it's a piece of piss what is wrong with you stupid fucking idiots now <laughs> let's rewind this and do it on a curved earth shall we 
Okay, everybody, let's just give our heads a shake and start over. Let's get rid of Flat Earth and replace it with the Globe Earth model. Here we go. So, we're going to need our water. Oh, that looks much better already. And we're going to need our poorly drawn boat once again, talentless. Well, it looks pretty close. We will need our island. We need a sailor on the main deck of the boat. We need a sailor up in the crow's nest. All right, we're looking good here. So, let's carry it further. We need a line of sight from the sailor on the main deck over to the island. Oh, well, what's that now? That line of sight is disrupted by something. I think it's the horizon. Maybe the curve of the Earth is in the way, and it's not the distance you can see. Well, let's add the little Terminator line, or mark, just like we did on the other one, keep it consistent, and let's add a line of sight, once again, the exact same length from the person in the crow's nest, Oh, and they can see the island perfectly. There's their Terminator block to finish it off. So, in this model, going up lets you see over the curve of the Earth and therefore further it extends your horizon. And as such, you can see what's over the curve. I don't think it's looking like perspective here, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe that the Globe Earth model has proven victorious. So on that note, I think we can just pass it over to Flat Earth and say, what do you got? Let's hear a response. I'll put the kettle on and get comfortable and wait. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This has been Simple Thoughts with Dick Dawson. And remember, keep up the fight. That was absolutely awesome. You are super slick, dick, and you fucking know it. That's why you call yourself a big dick. Nah, amazing. What a brilliant debunk idea as well. Simple thoughts. And I think you guys that are watching could leave us suggestions in the comments section below. And who knows, maybe Dick will have a quick crack at one of those as well. And I'll leave links to my channel and his channel in the description. And as for you backward thinking, globe denying, fucking brainless idiots, if you can't work out what he's just shown you in a cartoon for kids that the basic reality is you live on a globe, then unfortunately for you, you're just fucked in the head. Good night.